Talk about two snakes. Tyler Klein and Calvin Gator. Two men that weighed the trap once in the making for BC Steel to stab its best friend in the back. And Paul, I did some, some, in, some investigating before we went on the air tonight. You want to know why BC Steel is not here? I'm glad he's not here, but go ahead, you can tell me why. He took an impromptu vacation, according to Calvin Couture. When I pressed on the reasons why, it's my belief that BC Steel was worried about RPW coming back here to kick his teeth in. So BC, BC ran and hit like the coward that he is. Oh, uh, he ought to be worried about that. He backstabbed his best friend in real life. So BC on an impromptu vacation because he's worried. He's looking over his shoulder that RPW may be in this building. Oh, yeah, it should be. I'd say thanks for that, but it's obvious. This is a, some unique theme music. From Bromberg, India, weighing in tonight at 190 pounds, straight crazy, Brayden This young man, Braden Lee, another athlete that is making his debut on this event. This guy is making waves all across the independent scene, Paul. When he's arrived here in Rise Pro Wrestling, a highly touted prospect. From IWA Mid-South to Chikara Pro Wrestling into AIW in Cleveland. Braden Lee's been making some treks out across the independent circuit. And if you're gonna make waves among promotions like AIW, Chikara, and IWA, of course, when it comes to Pittsburgh, you gotta be here in Rise Pro Wrestling. Yeah, that's exactly it. You see these guys coming from all these different promotions. They're coming to one place, and that's Rise Wrestling here in Pittsburgh to make a name for themselves. You know, Jim, I did a little investigating myself here, and I uh, found out that Tyler Klein was not too uh, in was not too thrilled with some of the comments that we made about his ascot in our Baldwin event. We've talked about his ascot, but there's a lot of things we could have called. That's true. He had to be lucky he got away with what he did. A snake in the grass, a con artist, a scam artist. Will that make him feel better? As long as you don't call him an actor, the guy who wears an ascot. He's fine with it. <laughs> Opening Brandon bell here. Lee. And despite BC Steel hiding with Jimmy Hoffa to avoid RPW, the odds are still tilted in Golden Sheik's favor because Tyler Klein is out here without a manager's license, by the way. As much of a fraud as BC Steel is, at least the man has a, uh, a manager's license. I, I guess the rules are going to be a little more lax when it comes to things like that, thanks to our executive prime minister. You know, uh, Jim Sterling talking about politics, and somehow even Sterling isn't the most crazy politician that's uh, around these days. And take that as you will, because uh, you can apply that uh, generalization across the board. You know, Paul, you'd be a good county commissioner. Yeah, I try to stay out of politics. Come on. I can see Senator Paul Harris. Yeah, well, some people would say I did a lot of politicking back in the day, but hey. Those guys are no longer in the business. And I'm still here. I heard you paint houses. You never know. Braden Lee working on that top wrist lock. Employed a back heel trip to get Calvin down to 1D, furthering the leverage. Smooth transition to the side headlock. 
and takes Couture down to the canvas. Why that's important? How do you win the matchup? On the canvas. Calvin Couture turning it around there. And we've talked about the physical chess match that we see evolves in these matches here. And that's what you're seeing there. Defensive and offensive wrestling simultaneously. Yeah, once again, as we've stated before, do not let the flamboyance of Calvin Couture Oh, I'm just saying, Calvin Couture can be a nasty bastard when he wants to. Exactly, that's exactly right. He's got a mean streak a mile long. For all his glitter and sparkly robes and fancy bow ties, this guy will also punch you right in the mouth. Think about how many months they planned and plotted together to set up RPW. <laughs> Oh, without a doubt. And, and you know, the proof is right there in the fact that PC Steel won't even come back into the building. And I don't know if this is uh, breaking the fourth wall too much, but yes, Ben Steele was legitimately Bobby Williams' best man at his wedding. Sure. These guys did a lot together in this business over the years. And to turn around and try to smack the guy in the back of the head with a chair, I mean, you, you don't get any more dastardly than that. And if he's willing to do that to his best friend for the almighty dollar to get an advantage in the business world, how motivated does Golden Sheik have to be to get ahead here in Rise Pro Wrestling? Nice agility from Braden Wee here. Well, if our Baldwin event was any indication of that, as we saw a uh, Golden Couture, Golden Sheik International attack uh, Tony Johnson, our Rise Grand Champion. Miss Q from Golden Sheik. Oh, what a shame. What a vertical leap. Tyler Klein got knocked on his ascot. Sometimes I happen to think that Tyler Klein is an ascot. Look out! Flash Mary oh. Flop takes out everybody. We said Braden Lee wanted to make a statement in Pittsburgh, and damn it, he's doing it. This young man is turning out to be an amazing young athlete. Paul, this is simple here. We live in the digital age. The digital age that if you can go viral, your entire career can change. The trajectory of your career can change. Brayton Lee knows that this matchup is going to be publicized through IndieWrestling.us through our social media channels at Rise Wrestling on the Indie Wrestling Network. Quite frankly, he stakes a flag out here in Pittsburgh. He will have the entire East Coast and part of the Midwest as his territory. Sure, without a doubt, like we said before, you want to make a name for yourself in Pittsburgh Wrestling, Rise is the place to be. Interception from Braden Lee. Springboards his way in. Oh, got oh. caught. We know how smart, how much of a ring general, high ring IQ from Calvin. He exploited that opportunity and got two. That's one thing we can say about Couture. He is very skilled, very savvy, very technical. Sure. But he, but he also that, has that ring IQ. Look at that cover alone. He rolled all of his body weight of his opponent over top of him, Braden Lees, in an attempt to get that pinfall. Braden Lee favoring his neck. And Couture saw it. Yeah, Couture's but referee George isn't going to see this as I believe Klein is using that ascot to choke Braden Lee here. But actually, it was the tape measure because uh, he's still wearing the ascot. And it, here's the nasty side of Couture. He was fish hooking Braden Lee's mouth before again he drops down on the neck. He, and again, that goes to his ring generalship and his ring IQ. He saw his opponent favoring a body part and he's working on it here. Springboard miscue. And we're going to see how much Braden Lee wants to fight through the pain here. How much does he want it? But the odds are obviously stacked against. Once again, with Sheik, Golden Sheik International, it's always that way. You know, Paul, what irritates the hell out of me is, is Golden Sheik International, both individually and collectively, are very talented. They don't have to sink this low. They just take an ego trip to do it. Sure, that's exactly right. That's all they want to do is be on top, no matter how, how and what it takes. They will do so, despite the fact that, like you said, these are all premier athletes. Oh, 
and Braden Lee's debut in Pittsburgh may not be what he was hoping for because Gator is really stringing the moves together. Driving that boot right into the jaw of Braden Lee right now. And that sinister smile from Gator tells you the story. Bonafide mean streak in that young man. Yeah, but there is ego got a little bit the better of him there with that lackadaisical cover. Paul, what is, what is so impressive about Couture, obviously not his attitude, he is such a natural inside those ring ropes. The man is only a four-year pro. Well, I'm impressed with his attitude. I never thought I'd see a man who would be a bigger ass than he is. Look out here. Braden up the back door. German lands on, lands on his feet. Oh, man. He just lit Calvin Couture up. That'll stop your heart. Big contact in the corner. And another one. Braden Lee's getting a second win. This young man is determined. Lee rolls through. Rolls through again. Unbelievable agility. All inspiring agility. Springboard clothesline. He caught him right on the jaw with that clothesline. Paul, I'm going to say it right here. Win, lose, or draw. I'm going to see Braden Lee back here in Ron. Oh, he's definitely earned himself a spot here based on this performance tonight. Braden hooks him up. Precarious spot for Couture. And he's making Couture think about it. Yeah, look at the strength of this young man. What core strength. Now there was a slight hesitation before that pinfall attempt. I believe that, that's what caused Braden in that exchange. Yeah, just that little bit of hesitation there. And I believe Braden Lee's winning over this crowd as well, Paul. Sure he is. A capacity crowd getting well behind him here tonight. Up and over he goes. Beautifully done. You can't say enough. Naturally gifted is Braden Lee. Now wait but a he's now. Got, Paul, this is too much. Tyra Klein has to get out of here. He is ruining this young man's debut. Oh, Not that he cares, oh, no, because exactly it's all about going to shit. But Braden's perched! Beautiful shooting star, but no water in the pool. And it's it's because of Tyler Klein, and now Calvin's picking the bones. <laughs> Calvin Couture may look to prove that he didn't need RPW, but he sure as hell needed Tyler Klein because Tyler Klein was critical to that victory for Golden Sheik International. There's no honor among thieves. And once again, Golden Sheik International showing you just how dastardly they can be. And it's always a numbers game with these guys. After the confrontation in Baldwin, you have to wonder, could Golden Sheik be targeting that grand